Welcome back, Hookaholics. Foulmouth fishing. And since everybody seems to be trending on these, I figured, why the heck not? So I went uh, recently to my local Dick's and I grabbed one of the mother loads. Um, I'm still on the hunt for the number 96. MTV's mother load, number 76. So if you don't know, <clears throat> MTV, the, uh, the mail order subscription company for bait and tackle, branched out and started doing a lot of these retail boxes. You can go straight to your store, no muss, no fuss, and uh, pick up the, uh, the box right there in your hand. You don't have to wait for shipping. You don't have to deal with any of the issues that we've had with shipping. No worries about the postman beating the crap out of your box. You see it physically, and you can uh, pick it up and know what quality the box condition is in. Um, and just like all the other MTBs, it's a sleeve on the outside of an interior box. Let's see if we can't. All right, well, we're just gonna go with it in the in the sleeve this time. Let's crack this open. Try not to stab ourselves. Slice and dice. So I have no idea what to expect. This is the first one of these mother loads that I've ever opened. I have seen a few YouTubers. Fishing with Norm did one. Um, his was pretty darn impressive. So as the mother load, this is the MTB's largest selection of baits in a single box. 12 to 15 baits. Some people have had them where they got 10 or 11, even though it says a minimum of 12 on the package. So quality assurance hopefully is there in my box. <laughs> We'll see. I see a lot of stuff in here that I'm accustomed to seeing in the uh, regular MTBs, in my Elite brands. So this is basically an MTB Elite with a little bit of an upkick uh, like steroids. But I certainly see some things that might end up in our Christmas in July giveaway just because I have enough tackle. But I don't stop getting more, but I still have enough. So we got a what's in the box sheet, not a card. Um, maybe because it's so large they don't do the, the cards. We do have a, uh, let me count this here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, there are 12 items in this box. I would have liked to have seen more towards the 15 count, but uh, 12 is the minimum, and I've got that at least. So we've got another one of these uh, Dibble Digests. Again, it's the third time's a charm, another repeat um, of the where, what, when, and why, how to tie a Palomar. I've included this in the giveaway so that you can learn how to tie a Palomar knot. Um, me personally, I, I stay away from the Palomar. I have another knot that I am much more um, inclined to tie. I'll use a Palomar if I'm tying a braid leader or a, um, a monofilament leader. But if I'm tying fluorocarbon, there is a different knot. Um, I will try to leave a link in the description down below uh, for that knot, for a video from a, a professional angler who tie, ties that knot, and it'll show you a much better description of how to tie it uh, than I probably would be able to. And uh, that for me is my go-to monofilament, I mean, excuse me, my go-to fluorocarbon to bait knot. It is, it doesn't break. It is uh, extensively, it's a saltwater knot, uh, I think he refers to it as the shark knot. Um, I never referred to it as that. But um, he calls it the shark knot. It is by far one of the most indispensable shark uh, fishing and saltwater uh, fishing knots that I ever learned when I was living on the island fishing. And I've got my shark gear up there on the wall. So uh, I'll get to you. I'll get to you again. <laughs> With that said, let's crack into this box. So I've already wasted enough time. So we got, first off the bat, let's go with the card. We got a Guggen, Guggen Squad's Filthy Frog in here. So down in here, there's a big box. Guggen Squad's 
Filthy Frog, and this is going to be in that, what's that, uh, Nightlife, or uh, what color they got on this? I know it's called something with night, because it's uh, two and a half inch, five eighths ounce, uh, oh, here we go, uh, Nightclub, Nightclub. It's that all black, Filthy Frog, it's your top water frog. I don't look at the top where it says, eat me. I look at the belly, and the belly on this is solid black. I go for solid colors, white, black, orange chartreuse. Those are the colors that I throw because that's what the fish are seeing as they look up. So somebody is definitely getting this in the giveaway. Because I don't need so many frogs. Guggen Squad's Filthy Frog. Next, Lifted Jigs SLM Swim Jig. Lifted Jigs Swim Jig. All right, Lifted Jigs. I think I have one of these too. Three out micro swim jig. It's got that nice dark head. Great for swimming. Great for finesse. It's got a screw, um, not a screw lock, but it's got uh, like threads on a on a on a screw um, on the lead head. So when you shove your your bait on there, it does have multiple points of contact. So it's pretty good. Quarter ounce, definitely going in the giveaway for some lucky person to enjoy. Ten thousand fishes saw crawl. 10,000 fishes saw crawl. Got these. These are the four pack, or excuse me, the four inch seven pack watermelon red flake. Saw crawls. Great bait right now in the pre spawn. Uh, we've had the 50 degree days. We've got more 50 degree constant days going. It's just we've been hammered by rain, so the water's really muddy. In that case, I would probably go to something with more of a chartreuse tip on it or dip these in chartreuse on the claws give a little bit more sight line to the fish in the muddier murkier water awesome awesome bait to saw crawls the flanges do great work and i could throw those on this on this little lifted jig because that that red color on the lifted jig and the red in the watermelon red flake definitely complement each other so that's another good setup hard hat jigs excavator so we've got the Hard Hat Jig Shaky Heads. Uh, it's a two-pack, four-aught of the Excavator Shaky Head Jig. Um, it's going in your giveaway, so you can get your shaky head on. Awesome, awesome. Black, four-aught, two-pack. That's cool. That's good. Again, they've got this, the shaky head, and they also would go very well on a, uh, on a Texas rig. Or Next up, Excavator. Excavator's Shaky Head. These are their stand-up shaky head jigs. Uh, four odd hook twin pack in black also excellent with those craws um, or with a worm if you want to do the shaky head and get your shake hit on that's definitely going in the giveaway so somebody can enjoy those after that we have 13 fishes gordito so i have one of these also all right same color so you get 13 fishes gordito it's a uh it's in the day old guacamole color it's a 3 8 ounce with a 3 aught or number 6 hook, I should say. And it dives, I think, 6 feet, maybe? I forget the... Oh, floating, 7 foot depth. So you got day-old guacamole, which is really an awesome color for the pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn period of time. When it's pre-spawn, I go the bright, vibrant, brilliant reds. But as those crawfish start to mute out and start going to... The light oranges, like the belly on this guy right down there. And uh, they go into that muted green color, you see? So those colors then go through my spawn period of fishing, and then in the post-spawn, then I go down to the root beer colors and the transparents and very vibrant translucents that don't have as much pop to them, more muted, more natural tones. And I go mostly green pumpkin on all my soft plastics. But uh, definitely, somebody's going to enjoy this little lip bait going through the giveaway. That's going in the Christmas of July as well. 13 fishing. Great hard bait, by the way. Weston Stickworms. So we got another Weston's 5-inch five, 5 count of their stickworms. And uh, I'm... It's, it's a black-blue. It's really black. It's really um, blue with, like, silver flake. I don't know why they call it the black-blue color. But it's like a blue stick bait with a silver uh, flake inside to give it a little pop and flash. But somebody's going to enjoy those. They're also going in the giveaway. I'm going to fill this box up fast. <laughs> After the Western Stickworms, we've got a Yozuri Rattlin' Vibe. Yozuri's Rattlin' Vibe. So another awesome, awesome bait this period of time. 
water's warming up slowly. There's that typical golden craw pattern. This was in Rayburn Red Crawfish Color. It's a two and an eighth inch, three eighths ounce, and it's got the number eight hook uh, twin trebles on it. Um, it's a sinking bait, so this is great for ticking off of rock, hard structure. Um, I'd stay out of grass with this unless you're going to lift your hot, you know, you're on a boat and high stick it and rip um, to keep it clear. But uh, definitely has got a ton of rattles in it, so that's great, great, great period of time to be throwing these, uh, these lipless baits out there. We have Livingston Lures Prime Time. This is probably, yep. Livingston Lures Prime Time Square Bill 2.0. It's got that bait sound technology, the EBS, Electronic Bait Simulation. Um, this is in Jin Rin, I guess, is the color, G-I-N-R-I-N. Um, it is a 0.56 ounces, so just over a half ounce. It dives four to six feet, uh, which is great for my waters. It's got that nice silver, but just missing that shad spot. So you got your shiner minnow kind of color for you right there. Great 3D eyes, amazing paint. I'm sure it has super sticky sharp hooks. Another great bait for the summer to be thrown. There you go there. We've got Gambler's Sweebo Worms. Gambler's, we've got the Sweebos. This is a 12 count. And it looks red. No, it looks black. It looks black, but without a color, I'm taking, I'm taking a page out of uh, No Redemption Outdoors. If you don't know, check out No Redemption Outdoors channel. He does some excellent bait reviews, some excellent box unboxings. Um, he's come upon himself that if a package is sold and doesn't have a specified bait color, it just goes to Green Pumpkin by by, na by nature, just by, just by default. Well, unfortunately, because he stole Green Pumpkin, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to steal his, his thunder. But what I am going to say is, since we had a few packages back, and I had that little underspin, uh, that, uh, that marabou underspin, and it was mislabeled, the marabou underspin was white, but it was called Golden Craw. So from this day forward, any package that is completely without a de designated and defined color shall be hereforth referred to as Golden Craw. So this is now going to be a Golden Craw. <laughs> It looks black, but it's golden crawl. Trust, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> One day I'll tell you a story about getting out of a traffic ticket for going through a red light. Uh, next up, after the Sweebos, we have Carl's Amazing Baits Hustler Worms. Uh, Carl's Amazing Baits. I guess that's these here. Um, this is unlabeled, uncharacterized, golden crawl. Worms with a hue of grape in them, evidently. Um, I'm not going to open... Can I open this up yet? Yes, I can. So, this is not a, uh, not a tear open pack like the other ones. So you got your curly tail in a purple and, uh, you know, purple candy, green, gold, and I think silver flakes in there. Well, green, blue, and green, blue flakes. Um, curly tail worm. The cards referring to them as as the hustler worm, so that's all I can go by, because the package is completely undefined, except for the fact that it's a Carl's Amazing Baits product in Golden Crawl. That'll go in the giveaway. Next up, the car the Kalins Googly Eye Swim Football Jig. I have these two. They're gonna go in your giveaway as well. Uh, these are in Green Pumpkin. It says it right there. Green Pumpkin. Um, Again, they've got that glass eye bead rattling chamber, so they rattle as you're ticking them off. If you're if you're running this just slow rolling it on the bottom, you're not really going to get the essence of the rattles. The key to this is yo-yoing it. That's where these rattles are going to shine. As you're pulling up, it's going to rattle up and rattle down. When it hits, you're just going to use the basic football head jig to tick off of hard surfaces. But uh, when, you're, when you're throwing it in the cast on the way down, it should flutter and give you a rattle. And if you're yo-yoing it vertically playing these baits, they should rattle very well for you. 7 16 ounce 
in green pumpkin again nice bait somebody's definitely going to enjoy that in the giveaway and finally perfection lures we've got another neko rig the neko rig kit and that's going to go in the giveaway so we've got the neko in this bubble gum kind of color again it comes with the weebless and the regular wacky hook it comes with this the um the uh, split rings instead of rubber O-rings. It already has the Nico head weight rigged in the top, in the head of the bait anyway, so you're ready to go with all five, or excuse me, all six of your Nico rigged worms. The most important thing when throwing a Nico, always remember to make sure your hook point is facing up towards the tail end of the bait and your weight is down, so that when you hook the fish, you will get a good hookup. You don't want to fish it with the weight down and the hook upside down and me personally I snell that hook so that gives you a little bit more mechanical advantage when the when the fish hooks it or fish swallows it that that hook is going to pop upward again and hook them in the roof of the mouth mouth and get better penetration so that's it for the mother load number 76 uh, personal opinions oh, there's a prize pool in the bottom so there's a promo code in here Mm -hmm. I take a look at that and you get a MTB sticker of course that's pretty boiler base personal impressions not worth it not worth it not this one at least some of the boxes I've seen definitely worth the value but considering that in the last MTB elite box that I pay 40 44 42 dollars odd for uh, I've gotten the Nico rig kit I've gotten the rattling head football heads i've gotten the weston worms i've gotten gamblers uh, worms i've gotten the saw craw i've gotten the lifted jigs i've gotten the uh the shaky heads i've definitely gotten the filthy frog and i've gotten the gordito in the same color 44 dollars for that where this is i think 60 um definitely not worth it my personal opinion this particular box so if all of the number 76's are like this then uh, this is a number to stay clear of unless these baits appeal to you so uh, with that I thank you for spending a little time with me and as always from me to you Stay safe, peace, and I'll catch you on the next cast. But that's Take care, Hope Hollis. Speculation. But the position that I got, I climb too high to fall, went too hard to drop. Stop clocks on the speed bag.